Hi, this is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to design and generate reports. You can see at the top left corner of the screen that we are using the advanced version of Universal Accounting. Two types of reports are available, the flexible report and the standard report. We'll get to the standard report later. Let's start with the flex report. Here, basically, what you see is what you get. The flex report icon takes you to the preview mode where you can customize the report. You can also save, print or export it to PDF. Now click on the design icon on the left to open the report formatting options. In the view tab, toggle the checkboxes to modify the header, footer, captions. Preview the changes here on the right. In the Behaviors tab, we check the box to expand the details provided in the report, and this modifies the report view in the background accordingly. In the Formatting tab, the look and feel of the report can be customized in different ways. In the Page Setup, you can select the document size, for example, and the portrait or landscape view. In the landscape view, all of the report columns are visible on the page. If you prefer a portrait view and need all columns displayed, then click on the Fit to Page Width icon as well. Now let's exit the preview mode and go back to the balance sheet. From there, click on the Report button. Select the whole time span to get a closing balance sheet. The other option is to run the balance sheet for a month or quarter. Select the standard view and click OK. This report can be customized as you wish with the report designer. We'll get to that in a moment. Under the standard view, the balance sheet is currently structured as a list of assets and a list of liabilities with no further breakdown. We can change this in the Ergonomics. Go to Settings, Actual Accounting, and select three groups instead of just one group. Back to the balance sheet, we run the report again. The balance sheet now has a three-level structure, listing the account group and two subgroups. Now let's look at the report designer. Locate and open the three-level balance sheet that we had created. We can also load any sorted and filtered table into Flex Report. The report is in the middle and on the side we have vertical toolbars. On the left the toolbar is for objects that we can use in the report and on the right the toolbar is for the respective settings. Now let's redesign the three-level balance sheet. First, let's create a background for the title. We select a shape from the toolbar on the left and a color on the right. Right mouse click to access the menu for the shape and to move it backward. Click and drag the text box to center the title a little bit. Next, we modify the font type for some of the fields. Multiple fields can be selected by holding down the Shift key. Then open up the font line from the object inspector on the right, then the style line. To activate the italic style, change its tag from false to true. Now let's remove the frame around the financial result at the bottom of the report. We look for the field called sum. Click on the frame and open up the frame line on the object inspector to modify it. Finally, we click on Save As in the menu under File and add individual to the file name. Now let's go back to the balance sheet and opt for the report design file. We select the template we just created and click OK. 
Voilà, we now have the report in the format that we wanted. This is it for the report design function. Thank you for choosing IT Express.